Hey folks, what's going on? It's Matt with Heroic Tactics. Uh, how you doing today? I I got the game. I got the game this game. Um, not this particular box. My friend Reed opened his and we played with it. But uh, yeah, how you doing? What's going on with you? What's going on with your week? Uh, I had a pretty standard week, except uh, yes, last night I got to go to an AHL hockey game, which is so much fun. Uh... Our team lost because we are the minor league affiliate for the Dallas Stars, and they called up like half our team. So, yeah. Uh, but uh, if hockey isn't like, if hockey's not your thing, that's not what we're here talking about. We are here to talk about what I did today and yesterday, last uh, Saturday afternoon, uh, me and my friend Reed played Godzilla. Yay! It's a brand new set based on the whole Chrono Clash system, which means like, Instead of mana, you have time, but it's just, I'll get into it more when I unbox this bad boy, but whatever you um, do something, you move time or a resource, I guess, it's, you move a resource to your opponent and your opponent can do whatever they want with that resource. And they conceptualize this as time, and I guess I need to research more into this game to really get the, the the logic behind it or what they're doing and um, why they use time. But it could be any sort of cons, cons, tradable resource. Um, and you need a little marker to simulate that. So I've got these great little Godzilla and uh, King Ghidorah toys that I got. Or not, they were charms and I uh, broke them off the thing, the charm. Not on purpose. I, uh, I'm careless. And I broke them off the little uh, loops that they were on and I was like oh, what am I gonna do with them they're broken I'm like oh wait they could be the little slider in this game um so we, we played about five or six games uh, me and Reed uh, I played Naruto once I or um, there's a Naruto version of this gaming system that I played once and maybe didn't get the best grasp on it Reed played a couple of times and we were still beginners, and I think we made quite a bit of mistakes. We are hoping to team up with, or hang out with Brandon, who basically plays every game in existence, but he understands Chrono Clash, so hopefully he'll give us a, a better understanding about what we missed. And, uh, yeah, it was fun. Let's get it open. So, got shrink wrap, which I'll never open right. Then. Look pretty, no. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Godzilla, dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. I can't sing that too much, or I'll get sued. Good. Take down. How do I want to do this? Uh, so we got some play mats. Um. Two of each. There's the two King of Deers and uh, these are the two King of Deers. Oh, rules in English in Italiano. I would like to learn Italian. Uh, Francais. Oh, goodness. I can kind of read that a little bit. And Espanol, which I should know more of, given where I grew up, but whatever. And then these are the Godzilla Battlefields. <laughs> so in Chrono Class, there's uh, two different cards. Ah. The EX cards, and then your uh, decks. And these are actually four decks. There's four decks in this straight out of the box with uh, three copies. It's not as I tell, three copies each of all the cards you need. So I don't believe you need to uh, buy a multiple boxes to have what you need, unless you want to make multiple identical decks 
But uh, yeah. Uh, these are tournament kit prizes, and they're smaller versions of these cards, uh, foil versions. Their only downfall is that if you want to use these cards instead of this card, you need to have like a complete set of six of these bad boys. So yay, I guess. You know, they're they're there. I want to open mine and see what I got just really fast before. Oh, there's a convenient opening slip. All right. Really? So on the back is this thing right here. Okay, so I was told these are, you know, foil versions of these, but I've got an actual playing card. So this is a card that I use quite a bit. This is really cool. It's, uh, oh, the coolest thing about this thing is that, uh, the coolest thing about the Chrono Clash system is that you, it uses symbols to explain everything. So, uh, if you can really see that right there, it says this is an action that costs three time or mana or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then if you play it normally, you can draw one card and draw one or, and draw one UX card. And you kind of have to do both, so you couldn't play it if you were about to run out of. Um, you couldn't play it if you're about to run out of uh, cards in one deck. And then it's got uh, an ability. If you flip it when you do a guardian, if it's on your guardian stack, you'll do this thing: draw a card and draw an EX card. But uh, we'll get into guardian stuff later. That was one of my tournament kits. Let's open this bad boy. Hmm. And then Gigan, and this is ooh, smushed a little bit, but uh, that's kind of cool because this is an actual person that's in. It's not an EX card because it's got like a regular cost right there, and he's he's got toughness. And then whenever he fights, he gets wow plus five to his attack for four cost. Kind of into this. I, I like that a lot. I'll definitely try to use him in my Gigan decks. But um, maybe we should go into whole deck first or regular decks first. But uh, well, mm, plastic cards. This is deck. This is two decks. This is the Godzilla. Little Godzilla starting the top. Uh, Plastic wrap is my mortal enemy. So, uh, you know, so this is a regular standard deck. Um, this is a character. Goodness, but um, also is a it is a half a chronometer. That you use for keeping stuff and uh, some cheat sheet stuff right there. Oh, I was kind of hoping that it would split decks halfway so I knew what was going on. But, uh, nope. All right. So, Reed played this deck. So, uh, I'm, I don't know when they end. Okay. Here we go. Here's the other thing, so this is where it ends. Replayed this deck, and uh, you got Baby Godzilla, who can't attack, but he can generate time on you, so you can uh, get more resources. Three of these, uh, a Destroyer Infant, uh, Gigan, so the, the hollow foil of, um, that I have, uh, and Gears. Oh, if you notice, um, they all have like a little blue, these are all blue colored. So when you do start making your own decks, you can um, <clears throat> make a deck of two colors. So this is blue and there's some red. So this is a blue red deck. And in the Naruto universe, they meant, the colors meant something like purple was psychic or something like that. But uh, <clears throat> I'm assuming there's something similar in the Godzilla universe. Then we got Godzilla, the 1984 version of them. Nice little beat stick. Rodan. You know, then we got some action cards, you know, uh, that 
And the symbols of this one right here says pick two of your opponent's battlers and tap them. So that's kind of neat. For three, that seems kind of expensive. But uh... All right, then we got more battlers, the red battlers this time. Fire Rodan. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, destroy uh, the flying form. No, I'm in the way. Uh, destroy the flying forms. And you can only have three in uh, three of a single card in a deck. So I, uh, I think it's why you only need one box to make everything. No, I lost to destroy a. Godzilla Jr. Megurus. Uh, destroy aggregates. We're getting bigger and buffier and stuff like that. A modified Giga. Mm hmm. Godzilla 98. The Crystal Zone. Okay, this 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 is an action card that, that untaps one of your characters. You can do cool stuff with them. Yeah. But it's got a weird downside. Like, if it gets destroyed on the Guardian stack, it taps one of your characters. So... Infinite Heat Ray. It, uh... Gets you a card and blows up one of your opponents. Gets you a DX card and blows up one of your opponent's creatures most of the time. And the Oxygen Destroyer from the classic movie. Uh, my friend never, never played this against me, so I don't know what it does. Um, a chosen opponent character with a cost of, or the attack is six or greater than, less than or equal to six is destroyed. That's kind of neat. That was the size of Godzilla. This is the Mothra deck, and I did play this, so I'm kind of familiar with this one a lot. It's Mothra Gadir, King Ghadira. So we got uh, three little drats. Can you show up for me, bud? Uh, three Batras. Three Lightspeed Mothras. Uh, three Aqua Mothras. Three monster X's, yeah. Uh, nice little um, Mothra's theme that lets you uh, increase your attack against Guardian stacks. Uh, the Awakening card I was talking about earlier, but not foil this time, so I can swap that out. That's kind of cool. Uh, Fairy Mothra for a quick little sneak attack. Moth, Mothra Larva, Primitive Mothras, 1996 Mothra. And I know I'm kind of speeding through these bad ones. I want to kind of get you um, a taste of the creatures of the game and who you can play of. So if you're a Godzilla fan, you're like, oh man, that's so cool. That's so cool that this version of Godzilla, this version of Mothra, this version of Gigant's in the game. And they're like, but uh, there's a lot of abilities that we're kind of not 100% sure on. So once we get more games in our belt, I'll explain the abilities more. Uh, Mothra, Phoenix of the Sea. Uh, she's When she dies, she lets you summon something else in for free. Um, Rainbow Mothra. King Ghadira. Mm hmm Destroya, and then 1998 King Ghadira. Uh, the Shin Toshin Collapse, this nice little ability that lets you get card back from your discard. And Gravitational Beam, 
Another ability. I'm not sure what that means. Your battler is returned to my, return a battler to your hand to destroy an opposing battler is what I think that means. Neat, I guess. Uh, little cards to remind you how to do that. Let's, let's crack open the next deck. And we didn't play any of these two decks. And uh, Reed looked at the one because it's the Shin Godzilla deck. So he uh, looked at it. But we did not play these. So we are not... Uh, we didn't look at them because uh, we were looking for certain abilities that we didn't see. This one got some Godzilla Defense Force stuff. So we got the Star Falcon. The Mazer Beam Tank. I think I saw a model when I was in Tokyo last month. So, or it was a really impressive toy, but I saw a Mazer Beam. Uh, Gargoyle. So it's a got some some monsters in here. Uh, Garuda. The Super X3. Mogeta looks like a Robo gig guy. Uh, the GX eight uh, thirteen um, GX eight thirteen uh, Griffin Mecha Godzilla from nineteen eighty three. So uh, looks like Dragon Zord Pokemon fans. Uh, the Kiryu Type three more Mecha Godzilla. This is an action card, the Mecha King Godira Head. So uh, they can uh, shrink little baddies for you. And the Mecha Godzilla uh, Shed, it, uh, it draws you a card and buffs all your dudes. And then the second flavor of this deck has got the Gargel 2. Uh, the the land Mogira, false Godzilla. He's a pretty beefy boy for uh, the Super X two. Multiple ships. The multi-purpose fighting system uh, MFS three. So another Mecha Godzilla. Pretty buff little dude right there. And then a freeze ray attack that uh, taps um, a character. That's for a decent amount. Not too expensive. And finally, armed attack. It. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I like this because it makes all of your battlers in your hand... All your battles in your hand gain the sneak attack ability, which is super gross. That that changes games right there. And then this must be the Shin Godzilla deck, because uh, I don't think that one was. Uh, Kumunga the Spider. This is the 1965 version. Uh, Matongo. Not sure who that guy is. Ooh, you got regular Mogira. Non-robot version of him. Godzilla from 1971. We got one of the Frankensteins. I'm not sure exactly which one. I forgot the difference between the two. Godzilla's Invasion, an action card that... uh. That it, I think if you tap a battler, you, you can tap one of your battlers to get plus three time, which is kind of cool. 
All right, here we go. We're getting some Godzilla stuff. So we've got uh, Godzilla the first form, and it's kind of wimpy, but it lets you bring stuff out for cheaper when it attacks. So it's uh, a good way of accelerating your, your mana. Uh, Godzilla the second form. Also kind of wimpy. Also good for bringing out stuff when it attacks. Uh, Godzilla 1964. So, uh, 10-year-old Godzilla, I guess. The other Frankenstein. And then here it is. The OG himself, Godzilla 1954. Yeah. Uh, pretty efficiently costed. And it has a nice little ability that lets you chain out uh, characters. For a cheaper... Godzilla the third form. So we're getting... Um, we're getting uh, <clears throat> neat still. Rodon. Godzilla 65. Ooh. And then Godzilla the fourth form. Heat Ray. Just buffs your dudes pretty buff. Really fucking buff. Pardon my French. Unconventional mass, unmanned conventional bomb. It uh, blows up two of your opponents, or shrinks them. And then the Repel Godzilla mission, another action that shrinks dudes pretty badly. Let's crack these EX dudes open and really go to town. Because this is, this is the main event right there. You play with your decks to draw EX cards in hopes that you can bring out these bad boys right here. All right, Destroya, the final form. This is Reed's one of Reed's favorite characters, and uh, he's a pretty effectively costed character. When he fights, he gets plus three to his attack and buffs all your monsters plus three to attack. So that's sick for a really cheap cost. Yeah, um, if I'm playing blue, I'm definitely going to consider playing this dude right here. Orga, I'm not sure who that guy is. Decent. Space Godzilla. Godzilla 2000, pretty beefy dude. Burning Godzilla for your red decks. That's uh, man, I like him a lot. He he can attack right away. Oh man, he's got some neat abilities. I'm into that. Violenti, the plant monster form. Reed's a big Violenti fan. Armor Mothra. Uh, I brought her out a couple of times. Back try. 1992 Mothra. Mecha King Godira. Don't think I ever brought him out. I think I drew him, but I never brought him out. Uh, Godira, God of the Sky. So, uh, he looks gross. And then Kaiser Gadira, who I, uh, don't think I ever saw, even though he was in my deck. Uh, New Gotengo. So. Mo, uh, Geta 2. Super Mecha Godzilla. Man, this guy's kind of beefy. When you summon him on tap, all your dudes, so you can do stuff. Yeah. Uh, regular Mecha Godzilla. Pretty up there. And MFS3, the runaway one, so it's a. He's got a jetpack. No, he didn't have a jetpack. He said jetpack Mecha Godzilla. The Kiru Type 3. All right, now y'all been waiting for this bad boy. Jet Jaguar. Yeah. We got Gigan, and he didn't seem as awesome as regular Gigan. Big Gigan. Uh, 72 Godzilla. Uh, Hidora. And then here we go. Shin Godzilla, yo. 
Yeah, freaking 18 strength. That's ridiculous. That's uncalled for. Oh, man. And then when he summon, he just kills whoever else is on the field. So, uh, yeah. These are the EXs. Like I said, you use effects in your decks to draw an EX and then play an EX by uh, sacrificing costs equal to the green cost. So they sacrifice the yellow cost equal to the green cost to bring them into play. Um, from what me and Reed, I just a couple things to notice is that like, there's four constructed decks in this in the gaming system. Unfortunately, the Shin Godzilla deck, as near as we can tell, has no way to draw EX cards. And I think that is a, a huge oversight in the game because people are going to buy the box. They're going to want to play with their friends. Of course, everybody wants to play a Shin Godzilla. So you're going to play the Shin Godzilla deck and you're going to play a game and never draw an EX card. Then you're going to play a game again and never draw an EX card. And again and again and again. And just get really frustrated because... You want to draw your EX Shin Godzilla and play him. So it seems very poor decision when they made that deck to do that. They should have did some. That shouldn't have. That seems to me like that shouldn't have uh, come out. Unless me and Reed missed something, we saw no way just looking at that deck to draw an EX card. Um, one thing I also noticed, I put it as playing as Mothra and the Mothra King Gadara deck is that there was, it was feast or famine. I either drew big beefy dudes or a bunch of little dudes that did nothing for me. So like, I was like two out of six, but uh, we kind of, as we were playing around, figuring stuff out, there's two ways to win this game is to get quest points or to destroy your opponent's um, guardian pile. Let me get, show you what. <laughs> Guardian stat. Oh no, too much inserts. Let's see, um, uh, is everything backwards? I know it's a mirror. Why do you gotta confuse me like that? All right. So at the beginning of the deck, you put your deck, you shuffle, you uh, put face down the top five cards of your deck, and then you draw a hand of five cards. And, you know, if you accumulate five quest points during the quest action, you win. That's rad. Um, the other way to win, and the way that we found ourselves doing it the most often, was through attacking your opponent's guardian deck. Each time you attack it, you flip a card, resolve that card, and when you're and then discard that card. And when there's no more cards left in the Guardian attack stack, the next attack on the Guardian stack uh, wins. And there should be more ways to protect your Guardian stack. Uh, there's a certain ability that shows up on very limited characters in the current set, and that's called Sentinel. And while this character is tapped, you can't. You have to attack this character. You can't attack the guardian stack, and this ability seems. Um, we only saw it in one deck had a bunch of it, and another deck had one, and it seems entirely too easy to attack the guardian stack. And I thought it was harder the one time I played the Naruto deck. I need to get with Brandon to see if maybe we're doing something wrong, but it didn't seem as easy because. You discard the card after it's attacked, so you can just throw little babies at it, and there's nothing to stop your, you can't stop your opponent. So it's, it seems like a letdown. Again, we, we played it based on our knowledge of the game. We both are new to the game, so we're not sure if we're doing it right. But that just seems too easy to, to KO the Guardian stack and win that way. But, uh. All in all, I'm excited. I really like, once you start, it gets really excited when you start recognizing the symbols and recognize what they do and recognize how they work together when these two things line up together. Like this says, uh, I already did that one. This bad boy uh, says, when it's destroyed, uh, you draw an EX card. Uh, you know, so it's a lot of cool stuff. It's a lot of cool interactions. I really like that. There's a lot of uh, new symbols that weren't in the Naruto deck. So 
I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. And I'm excited to play this more. Uh, all in all, I'm, I don't know, like 60, 40 optimistic. If, I really hope we're doing the Guardian stacks wrong because that seems entirely too easy to win a game because we're going breezing through them in like, you know, five, ten minutes. And like, I think it's a good time for a card game, but I think it shouldn't, I don't think it should be uh, that easy. I think there should be other things you should be able to do to protect your Guardian stack. But uh, yeah, we need to get some more games in there and get some more experience. But uh, that is the unboxing of the stuff. This is all the components in the Godzilla game. It is a lot of fun based on what we know, what we've played, and I'm I'm really looking forward to digging into it more. If you're interested in the Godzilla game, you should definitely... If you like the Godzilla IP, and I am a semi-casual, like uh, I... I've watched most of the movies, but they all bleed together, so I'm not like, I'm not sure. You can't say, oh, do you remember blah, 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 blah? And I'm like, what's the monster? What's the plot? Don't don't tell me the name of the movie. I'm not going to remember that. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is the, like I said, this is the Godzilla card game. This is what's in the box. I, I thought it was reasonable. I'm looking forward to getting more games in and figuring stuff out. And, yeah. Uh, and using my little Godzilla figures to mark time passing. Uh, I hope to uh, do a better explanation of game mechanics in, in maybe the next week's episode. Um, or in a future episode. Uh, thank you for watching this Matt with the Heroic Tactics. And may all your dice roll hot.